guys? So sorry, it's super cold out right now. It's freezing. Yes. Um, I just bought a storage unit. So I want to do a quick video on um, dealing with emotions while bidding live. So when you're at live auctions, which a lot of you guys are going to go to live auctions, you're going to you're going to find yourself in a situation where there's going to it's going to be really hard to manage your bankroll, to manage your money to spend on storage units because there's so many elements that are in play and time is so quick when you're new. It it's um the the storage unit uh, buying storage units live, the time goes by really quick and as you buy storage units live, it will start slowing down the whole process, right? So, a couple of things that will help you with going over your budget and dealing with your kind of emotions of bidding and, and wanting to buy a storage unit. We are all super excited to buy storage units, especially me. Sometimes I even lose sleep the night before ready to buy a bunch of storage units. And the way that you can kind of eliminate that is only go to the auction with the amount of money that you're willing to spend. Okay, that's number one. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're a veteran storage unit buyer because you wanna bring enough money to where if there is a freaking amazing unit, you have enough to pull the trigger. However, when you're brand new to kind of help uh, cut that curve of dealing with emotions while bidding on units, only go to the auction with the amount of money that you're willing to spend, okay? Now, the reason it's tough sometimes is because when you're a first time storage unit buyer, your hand never goes down because you wanna buy a unit I need to caution you right now because remember, storage units are not going anywhere. There's gonna be constantly times that you can buy storage units every single day. Every city has live storage auctions it seems like, right? So you gotta remind yourself that there's always gonna be another auction, okay? You don't have to buy a unit just to buy a unit. You need to profile it and kind of match it to what you want. Um, so if it doesn't show up, don't buy it just to buy it. Um, remember, Live is a little different than online. Online, I can sit on the couch, right? And bid on the units. Live, not only am I looking at the units in real time, but also the guy standing right next to me wants that unit too. He wants to feed his family and make money. And the guy standing next to him wants to do the same thing. And the guy standing next to him wants to do the same thing, right? So you're bidding against people that are standing right next to you. It can be very intimidating. And the one way you can cut that is don't bring 5,000 and spend 5,000 on a unit, bring 400 and if it goes over that, it is what it is. At least you didn't overspend on the unit um, because you know, you're know you new to it and uh, you can kind of get the idea. Maybe even help you by going to a few live auctions and not buying any unit, just seeing kind of the lay of the land and how it works. All right guys, I just wanted to do a quick video, give you a few tips on kind of how to cut the nerves because there's gonna be nerves when you go to live auctions because you're standing right next to somebody that wants to outbid you and win that unit. But you've gotta make sure that number one, you profile the unit correctly, you profile the unit correctly and make sure it fits your buying criteria and not buy a unit just to buy a unit because you're excited. All right guys.